Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video, in this one I will tell you about reflector posts or as we call them in the community, bollards. There are too many bollards in the world to know them all, but if you know these ones that I show you, you will have a good basis to start recognizing bollards in GeoGuessr game. So let's start with this one, this is my favorite one, and it can be found in France. This is a French bollard, there are some other French bollards, but this is the most difficult one, however, uh, you can sometimes see these bollards also in Spain and Scotland, but uh, most commonly in France. So if you see it, you're probably in France. Let's now move all the way to Australia. These are Australian bollards. This is how they look from one side and from the other one. Um, Australian bollards can differ from place to place. Some, sometimes they have some stripes, sometimes they have some, uh, some circles. But um, what you might want to remember is that in Western Australia they sometimes have these grey bottoms, grey bottom parts of these bollards. So if you see these grey bottoms, it means that you are in Western Australia. You can find similar bollards to Australian ones in Turkey, however the big difference is driving side, because in Turkey they drive on the right side, but in Australia they drive on the left side. I think I've seen these bullets in another country, I think it was Romania, but uh, that is pretty rare. This is not meant to be the extensive list of all the countries these bullets can be found. For example, the French bullets, I think I've seen them in Senegal as well. Uh, however, I am telling you the main countries that these bullets are in, and there might be some outliers as well. Another very recognizable bullet is in New Zealand. They have this uh, white bullet with a red stripe on it. And from the other side they look like this. So these are the Austrian bollards with this little hat on them and these red reflectors. Sometimes we, these reflectors are much darker, almost black, so keep that in mind. Very similar bollards can be found in Slovenia as well, however I don't think they have hats. I don't think I've seen a bollard with a hat in uh, Slovenia before. And I haven't seen dark reflectors in Slovenia as well, I think. They usually have the light ones, That's, I, I know that for sure. Sometimes these bullets can be found in Montenegro. It's not that often, but keep that in mind. However, if you are in Montenegro, you will usually have also a rift in the sky. So, it will be a good indication that it's not Austria or Slovenia. Now it's time to get to Czechian and Slovakian bullards. Unfortunately, they are the same. <laughs> they look completely the same. They are these bollards with two orange stripes, and from the other side they have this one, uh, one square. Let's have a look at the Slovakian one. It looks, as you can see, it looks exactly the same. Exactly the same on both sides. So, uh, when you get this bollard, well, you know it's one of these two countries, but there are some other methods you can try to distinguish them, but that's for another video. Now it's time to get to Polish bollards. These are the lovely Polish bollards. In a way they are similar to New Zealand bollards, but they are wider and thicker. Also red bollards with a red stripe on them. And this is how they look from the other side. So these bollards can be found in two countries, in Ukraine and in Russia. Uh, these white bollards with black and red in the middle. However, uh, in Russia there are some other bollards as well that can be often seen. These bollards can be sometimes seen. These ones as well. There are many different bollards in Russia, so I won't show them all to you, but keep that in mind that Russia can have similar bollards, but they will usually be white, black and red. Now it's time to get to Croatian and Hungarian bollards. They look super similar. Um, However, from my experience, Croatian bollards usually look a bit sharper, if that makes sense. <laughs> As you can see, this bollard almost looks like it has a sharp edge, kind of. <laughs> but uh, let's look at the Hungarian bollard. It looks more rounded. So that, that's a good indication to try to, recognize, uh, to, to distinguish them. However, it's very difficult sometimes, so you might mix them up. You can find similar bollards that look like this in Lithuania and Sweden. However, they will have orange reflector instead of red. So if you see orange reflector, it's mostly Lithuania, sometimes could be Sweden as well. 
Speaking of Sweden and other Nordic countries, their bollards are all over the place, they look super similar and you usually won't be able to tell them apart, unfortunately. They look very similar most of the time, so you will have to use road lines and um, mountains and other indications to tell those countries apart. So now we have these bollards. These bollards and very similar variations can be found in Italy, San Marino and Albania. Those three countries, in Italy you will often see, as I mentioned, like similar variations, like bigger red square, a rectangle or two red rectangles and stuff like that. If you see those, that's Italy, but if you see bollard like this, it, it could be San Marino and Albania as well. In Greece you will sometimes see similar bollards too, however they look a little bit different, so you can usually tell them apart. In the United States you usually won't get any bollards, however if you do, you will get these very plain looking white bollards with some reflector on them, very small one. So if you see these ones, it is not Canada, it is USA. And the last bollards for this video are these ones, these are Peruvian bollards, you sometimes see them. I think these are the most rare of the bollards that I've shown you today. You won't see them too often, but um, yeah, when you see them, you know it is Peru. As you can see, there are way more bollards in the world to talk about, so if you want to see another video of me talking about maybe some less common bollards, let me know in the comments below. By the way, you can use this map to study bollards for yourself. Uh, you can find it by using this name in search bar in uh, GeoGuessr. However, you do need to have a GeoGuessr Pro account. If you don't have GeoGuessr Pro account, I'm currently doing a giveaway, giving away one year subscription to it. So go down to the description, click on that link, and maybe you will be the lucky winner. If you found this video useful, please press that like button and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. I am always open for new ideas. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe and see you in the next video.